So friends, this is my first 4K Android TV by Kodak and the size of this TV is 50 inch and the model number is CA7077 and I bought it from Flipkart at a price of 27,000 rupees. So in this video, we will see the unboxing installation of this uh, TV and then we will take a overview of the hardware component of this uh, TV like uh, the size of the TV, ports uh, and all the physical visible components of this TV and the most important highlights of this video will be a real life picture comparison with the uh, real objects and then at the last we will do a sound quality comparison with a standard Sony Full HD 32 inch TV. So I am Avinas, welcome back to my channel, let's start. Before starting the unboxing, let's see what is written on the box. So you can see here the main highlight of the uh, TV is written. It's a 4K HDR10 TV. It is not a HDR10 Plus, remember, though it's uh, support Dolby Vision also. And here you can see this side it is written the 50 inch of the uh, size of the TV. So we will uh, check this also whether it is a 50 inch or uh, less than that and this is the model number of the TV which I told you already. And it is an Android TV it is mentioned as we know it is an Android 9 TV. And here it uh, says it supports uh, inbuilt app Netflix, YouTube and uh, here this uh, Amazon Prime. But it does not have inbuilt uh, 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 Disney Hotstar which you have to install separately and regarding the sound it says that it supports uh, Dolby Audio and also it supports DTS Digital Surround Sound. So and it has a connectivity Bluetooth 5 and in terms of Wi-Fi connectivity it has a single band Wi-Fi which is 2.4 gigahertz connectivity only it does not have 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connectivity which is a negative thing about this TV. And at the bottom you can see uh, it has an inbuilt Google Assistant just like a mobile you can use your voice to get all the information uh, as you do in the mobile and uh, it says it has 3000 compatible apps, it has inbuilt uh, Chromecast on which a separate video I will do and also it has inbuilt Google Play Store so you can install all the compatible apps so now see at this side so here is the branding of the Kodak then it says hey Google so obviously it has a Google assistant so it will support and here it is also written something about the product model number size and at the bottom here if you see it is written made in India though it is basically assembled in India not completely made in India so now let's see on the other side. So the other side it says that the connected with the smart device you can connect uh, in a uh, same uh, network Wi-Fi network uh, with all other devices and it has a quad core processor which is uh, A53 and here it is written about the price of this uh, TV which it says is for around 43,000 but actually I bought it at 27,000. So this is all about the box now let's see the unboxing of this TV. On 14 August I got the delivery of TV and the same day in the evening at 7.30 the person came to install. So let's see inside the box. Uh, so when you open the box first you see a thermocall which is uh, for the protection of this TV. So let's take out this thermocall. So while taking out you can see the manual uh, the, the plastic pouch is tied with a thread. Why it is so that I will tell you later. So now let's see what else more inside. So on both sides of the TV also extra thermocall protection has been given to protect your TV. Now before taking out let's check whether it is getting stuck anywhere or not. After making it sure hold the TV both sides and just pull it up. So alone it will not be possible for you to do it. So now here the TV came out. Uh, now at the back this uh, box which you are seeing in that the wall mounting kit is uh, available. So you have to remove it uh, as it is pasted via cello tapes. So uh, now th this is the TV port uh, which is coming out. The only protection is given here which I can see is a plastic uh, poly pack and uh, there is also uh, extra 
layer of protection for the screen which has been given which uh, I can see here so let's the take out the packet first now here is the screen so here you can see there is a pink uh, uh, thermostatic uh, I think uh, paper a uh, plastic paper which has been given to protect the screen from uh, any scratches so when the service engineer comes at your home so first he do uh, is he checks the screens so uh, he checks the screen for any in transit damage or any type of uh, serious scratches so after making sure that there is no scratches the assemble process starts so uh, here you can see the back of the TV which is totally clean though you can see it is not a slim body now here the wire of this TV is totally inbuilt you cannot separate it so you have to be very careful while installing the TV uh, so uh, after the service person checks all the things when okay so he takes the picture of that uh, barcode and model and he sends that uh, to the uh, either Flipkart or maybe uh, Kodak and uh, via that side you receives a, a message on your registered mobile and that message actually contains a, a code an OTP code so this OTP code uh, means uh, is that when you are totally satisfied with your installation and installation is finished and you checked all the things and it is working properly and you uh, are satisfied that your TV is fine there is no any manufacturing defect then only you give that uh, code otherwise uh, uh, what will happen before installation if you give and any problems come then it will be considered as no problem in your TV so, this is the wall mounting kit which I am showing you now this uh, along with that there are some bumpers also comes which you have to paste on the back of the TV so that uh, there should be a gap in between the wall and the TV so uh, now uh, here is the hook which is being installed on the back of the TV now the TV is so big in size and it is only dependent on these two hooks uh, which was very surprising for me. Now here you can see the kit uh, and the remote and this groove where you can actually put the stand, uh, tabletop stand in this. Uh, you can see these screws are here, don't find the screws separately. Now let's see the uh, stand uh, itself. So here it is, uh, you can see it is a uh, build of metal at the bottom there is a rubber grip which is actually of very good quality and this portion will go in that groove and the screw is already present there as I said you don't find, try to find it because I made myself fool by searching it. So now the drilling has been completed now the person is putting the uh, so all the screws so here you can see the actually the wall mounting uh, assembly is very simple simple a rod on which this TV is going to be hanged now as I told you uh, single handedly it is very difficult to handle as it is a 50 inch of TV so help the service engineer to hold the TV so that there will be minimum and no any scratches or any damage on the screen so here it is my TV is ready and it is hanged and uh, you make sure that your TV is moving left and right uh, without any problem. So now let's see the ports here. So on the leftmost side you can see the Ethernet port. Uh, to the right of that uh, it is a optical port and uh, the, after that there are three HDMI port uh, one of which is ARC and after that there is two USB port one is 3, 3.0 and uh, next to that is a cable which is no use for use and at the end you can see there is a hole it is not it is actually a AV port don't get it uh, mistaken by a 3.5 mm jack so now see this is the thing which I was talking about this is the label which mention that your accessories is inside or not so if level is not there at the time of delivery uh, you can then you can understand clearly that your accessories and your warranty card is not inside so at the time of uh, delivery only you make sure that the, this uh, token is there pasted and the thread is going inside the box so uh, this is very helpful and innovative idea which has been taken by the codec which I loved it now one more thing which I noticed during the uh, unboxing there is a separate layer of protection which has been given which uh, I wanted to show you now so this actually helps the TV screen to get uh, to get protection from any in transit damage so which is also a very good idea by a codec 
Now let's take the measurement of the screen size of the TV. So friends, whenever you want to take measurement, first switch on the TV and take the diagonally from the visible screen to the next corner's visible screen. So let me take it. So here uh, the measurement comes. So now let's uh, show me you. So here it is coming 49.1. So which is not actually 40, uh, 50. Sorry, it is actually coming 49. So though uh, company claims it is a 50 inch uh, LED TV, but it is actually a 49 inch. Now let's take a close look of the TV. So company claims that it is a bezel less design. So let's uh, see uh, for its bezel how thin it is. So if I show you closely, uh, then you can see uh, here it is uh, uh, the corners of the TV where there is no actually covering. So actually if I show you at the bottom, so here you can see the, the uh, bottom part of the TV is covered with a plastic uh, type cover. Here you can see the, the branding has been done but uh, if you see uh, the both ends of the TV like uh, left and right and in the top there is uh, no covering over the display so if I show in the corner you can understand so here you can see that it is a display only there is no covering on the top of the display the plastic cover which is actually on the hanging on the top only and there is a gap in between the display and that uh, uh, top covering so uh, the company has tried to keep the bezels as minimum as uh, possible here now let me measure how thin the bezels are so here uh, if i measure then uh, uh, it is around 0.5 mm which is actually half centimeter so the bezels are actually half centimeters uh, only so which is actually very thin compared to any branded tv even so the claim of the company that it is uh, almost bezel less designs which is actually correct now let's see at the bottom of the tv so here at the bottom if you see let me switch on the light so here there, there is a sensor and uh, there is actually hard key also at the bottom so with the help of this hard key you can switch on and off the tv and there is directional uh, switches also uh, which uh, you can use for the navigation and uh, on the both side you can see uh, speaker grills there are actually four grills uh, but uh, there are actually uh, on the both end there are the speakers only in the middle uh, there is no actually speakers though during the unboxing app shown you how the thick or thin the tv is still after the installation i would like to see you here you can see from the top to the bottom the uh, TV back is uh, covered with this uh, plastic which is uh, not actually very thin it is actually a very thick design from the back but uh, from the front the TV looks very elegant which is enough for me now the, this is uh, actually an IPS panel which is uh, very glossy and reflective you can see clearly the image of my balcony uh, completely over the TV even uh, you can see that uh, tube light which is uh, just kept in front of uh, uh, this TV uh, I kept it for the shooting purpose only so it is also being reflected uh, very clearly so it means that if there is any light just in front of your TV so uh, it will disturb you while watching the TV now let me switch on the TV so that uh, you can see whether the light is affecting or not so here comes so here you can clearly see that even after the switching on the TV that uh, tube light uh, reflection is coming so you make sure the TV where you are installing there is no any light uh, bulb or tube light just in front of the TV so uh, this care you have to take obviously and uh, from the outside also the sunlight reflection is also not falling on the TV as it is a IPS panel so the viewing angles are great you can see from the 178 degree angle now I am standing at the corner of um, my living room and let me zoom my camera to give you an idea so here you can see the picture quality even uh, at a certain angle the, which is the maximum the picture is clear and crisp now let's uh, before jumping into the TV let's see the remote first so this is the uh, TV remote which is actually an oversized remote compared to any normal remote but uh, there is a, some benefits uh, also that uh, you can see on the top of that there are uh, numbers uh, present uh, so these numbers are actually very useful while uh, typing anything on the TV because on the TV you have to uh, use that uh, uh, 
virtual keypad to uh, to type but if uh, the this keypad would have been uh, alpha numeric then it would have been even much better now at the bottom you can see this is the directional button so you can move left right in your tv and uh, there at the top this is the red one is the power button and uh, 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 on the right side this is the volume mute button now here you can see the dedicated netflix uh, youtube amazon prime and google play video uh, buttons but there is no uh, disney hotstar button this is the google assistant button from which you can give voice command to your google assistant this remote gets connected with your tv via infrared as well as bluetooth also and uh, now at the bottom you see uh, there are G, Y and B uh, buttons. This actually works when you are using these inbuilt apps only other than it has no use. And uh, here you can see that uh, uh, play, pause, forward button. This uh, is also useful while using uh, watching any OTT apps via YouTube or any other app. So this is all thing about the uh, remote. Now let's move forward. Now let's check the android version of the tv so for that you have to first go into the setting so let's go into the setting and from the setting you have to go uh, in the about uh, uh, device section uh, here and then let's uh, jump into inside uh, this is also first time for me so here you can see the android version at the bottom which is written and one thing which i would like to tell you the moment you buy the tv you will get a software update which is will be around 850 mb so i request you to first install uh, this uh, version then uh, you uh, do all other things so here you can see the version 9 of uh, android and there are other settings also this tv has inbuilt ram of 1.75 uh, gb uh, but uh, we, there is no any setting where you can go and see how much ram it has uh, till now i have not found any setting like that but you can see the storage for that you have to go into the storage and here you have to check it has 8 gb of storage now let's check the picture specification of this tv so for that you have to first go into the setting so let's go there and here in the picture specification you can see these are the uh, normal setting which he, all the tv has but this tv has support the hlg so this is the gamma setting here in this setting actually you can make uh, uh, black look uh, more darker and the white uh, you can uh, make more brighter so this is the that uh, hlg setting here you can in the similar way uh, there you can uh, set the color temperature also cool warm or in the middle in this way this tv has actually many lots of features just like uh, if i can name few of them uh, like memc technology hlg which just i explained a bit uh, this tv has adaptive luma control and digital noise reduction dnr and in sound department also it has uh, many features uh, like uh, Dolby audio di uh, digital surround sound so if I uh, start explaining all these features that it will uh, take too much time and video will become too lengthy so I will make a separate video on all these topics uh, so now let's uh, move forward like picture profile it also has the preset sound profiles which you can choose and uh, set according to uh, your uh, uh, mood or demand and uh, here in this tv uh, if you boot this tv uh, at the first time then it takes around one minute of time which is actually uh, very high so to cover this problem the tv has given a support in this tv which is a fast boot which i have actually already switched on but even after switching on this option it is taking around the same time now it's time to open youtube in the tv so here it is a youtube and here you can see the logo of the youtube which is actually completely red not oranges i have seen a video where this logo was uh, looking totally oranges so now let me open my own channel only here so that uh, there will not be any copyright strike so let me play one of my latest video here so here also you can see the tv screen is very reflective here uh, so here it comes so now here you can see clearly that the color reproduction of this tv is very great the red which you are looking on that monitor is red nor oranges or uh, some any other faded color the black uh, colors also is looking totally black it is not 
gray in color the white is also bright but the detail on the wall that uh, brick patterns also you can see here currently my picture mode is in the user and which is i have set according to my need but if i go into the view then here you can see the picture is becoming uh, a little bit glossy because of uh, the extra brightness so on this also i will make a separate video and uh, how to set uh, the best uh, picture profile according to your need Casting your mobile also very easy. So this is my OnePlus 6 mobile. So currently my TV is connected with the hotspot of uh, this uh, OnePlus 6 mobile. So here uh, to connect uh, via Chromecast you have to go into this uh, quick uh, toggles and uh, from here uh, you have to click on this cast option. So the moment you uh, click it you can see that I have renamed the, my TV as a brown color here it is showing so just uh, click it and accept the terms and uh, agreement license whatever it is showing and it uh, takes no time to just cast your uh, screen so this is uh, not a normal uh, screen, screen mirroring it is actually a chrome cast here lots of features are there which you can use so now that it is a totally different topic so now let's uh, see a, a vivid picture an hdr picture here so here you can see the color reproduction of this tv here the red uh, green blue all the colors you see which is uh, showing in their real color and the colors are very vibrant and uh, natural looking so even the reds are little bit oversaturated here but uh, greens and blues color reproduction and even the uh, berries which are uh, black or gray in color the, uh, they are producing very nice color so now uh, this is that uh, real life picture which i am talking about you can see this picture i have clicked from my oneplus 6 mobile and here this the picture which is looking in the mobile you can see now see on that tv so uh, let me zoom in so now you can see that uh, how it is uh, looking on the TV now so first take a, a look on the mobile you can see the red green the color in the mobile uh, this photo is an HDR photo mode taken and here it is in the TV so in some cases you will see that the color reproduction of TV is even uh, better than the uh, mobile and remember that one plus six has an optic AMOLED uh, display now let's compare the color of those objects which are present in photo this this is uh, that capsicum which is present in that photo and here you can see uh, the color though the uh, light in the room is not enough so this uh, capsicum was looking a little bit darker but now see this tomato is here this is the same tomato which photo has been taken now the red you can see even the color reproducing is better than the real tomato here and red is totally looking red and vibrant and even uh, red are actually a little bit oversaturated here now here you can see the yellow color which is a, a maggie packet and this is that uh, same maggie packet here now also here also due to less uh, light in the room it is not looking as bright but this uh, picture has been taken in the my balcony where sunlight was coming and now you can compare the red also the blue here also uh, in some cases I have noticed that the blue color reproduction is a little bit a downside as compared to red or green or yellow so here you can see that uh, uh, blue part this uh, navy blue at the corner little bit faded outside uh, 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 when it was presented under the uh, strong sun but uh, it is still a decent color here uh, and you can see the white this uh, actually this is a pale white but here in that uh, uh, photo it is uh, as i told you it's a hdr photo so the white is also looking very bright so color reproduction of this tv is actually very great and here you can see the uh, details in the shadow so the sunlight is coming from that uh, side and this uh, area which is actually uh, in the under the shadow and here also details you can see clearly all the details uh, on that corners and even you see that corner where that bottle is kept this is completely not completely dark or slightly dark but still the detail in the shadow is much better so we know that the kodak tv has 30 watt sound output and uh, here it is uh, my uh, sony 32 inch uh, 
फुल एच डी टी वी विच हैज एक्चुअली सिक्सटीन वॉट साउंड आउटपुट सो लेट्स कंपेयर दिस टू टी वी सो बाई डिफॉल्ट आई हैव पुट बोथ द टी वी इन द म्यूजिक मोड ओनली एंड द साउंड लेवल इज ऑल्सो एट द हंड्रेड परसेंट सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट इट इज ऑन द म्यूजिक मोड ओनली एंड एज द कोडैक टी वी इज कवर्ड ऑन द बैक सो दिस हैज बीन ऑल्सो सेट ऑन द म्यूजिक मोड ओनली विच करेंटली आई कैन नॉट शो यू सो नाउ हियर लेट्स स्टार्ट द म्यूजिक Now let's listen the same music on the Sony TV. The sound output is also hundred percent here. So friends, as per sound quality is concerned, there is no comparison in between the Sony and the Kodak. The 30 watt of the speaker of Kodak is louder, but the 16 watt Sony is even more louder than this Sony one. As far as the sound quality is concerned, if I compare with the Sony, then there is uh, no comparison because the Sony sound uh, clarity and the detail in the sound is much much better than Kodak. Kodak sound is little bit on the heavier side, the bass is little bit more higher, the sound is clear, decent, but the compared to Sony, it has uh, it is not standing anywhere. But if I compare with the Mi 4X uh, Pro TV or the real Mi TV, then the sound quality is better than Mi TV and the real Mi TV, which I have seen. I don't know about the Hisense uh, and View TVs because I have not seen. But compared to Mi 4X TV, the sound is louder, clear, crisp, and better. The uh, if this apple to apple comparison, uh, I will obviously say Kodak is better than uh, other Chinese brand. So uh, now in terms of picture quality, yes, I can uh, tell you that this IPS panel uh, of Kodak is as good as of a branded company's uh, panel like uh, uh, Sony, LG and the, I have seen the 4K uh, video on this uh, with 60 frame per second and I have seen Dolby Vision video samples also. They looks great and awesome. So as far as picture quality is concerned, this uh, uh, TV I will give uh, out of uh, 10, 8 points. But as far as sound is concerned, I will give out of 10 only 6 or 6.5. So let's play a 4K HDR content via YouTube. So if you are on a OTT platform then this TV is good for you. But if you are on a cable TV and if you don't have HD channels then you are actually missing something. Because uh, without HDR content your HDR TV doesn't really know what to do with uh, the standard definition content. And they artificially expand the standard definition into the HD. And as a result you see some uh, color uh, which is actually highly saturated or some color is faded so must take the HD channels for this TV so that much in this video thank you for watching